How can you study as an apprentice or fresh into the trade, maybe still in school, maybe you're fresh out of school and really optimize and growing your career, growing your talent and accomplishing the goals you've set out for yourself. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna explain my process and what I've done and what I've also advised and coached the apprentices I've worked with over the years. What I ended up doing that, that worked really well for me is one, I set very solid goals for myself that really pushed myself forward. I would hone in on on very specific things. First began, the very first topic I did this with was refrigeration, the refrigeration theory, the operations of it, what it means, the deeper science behind it. And I would study everything around refrigeration. And so I would do deep dives on what, you know, the saturation temperatures meant and how that worked and how that correlated. And I would read various articles. I would read the books. I would talk to the professors I had at the time or whatever resource I could get my hands on. I was trying to utilize it to understand saturation. Uh, just that simple of a, of a term. There's a lot to understand understand there. There's a lot to know. There's a lot to put together that's going to make huge impact. You carry that forward and you start talking, okay, once you cover that in, in saturations, then you start talking superheat subcools. Took a deep dive there. Uh, it didn't take very long before I was into the uh, psychometrics. What I would do is I would focus on each of these items one by one. I wouldn't scatter myself. I would I would really focus on this stuff. And, and in my evenings at night, you know, when I had time, when I was laying down for bed, when I was sitting on the pot, I was really reading this stuff. I was, I was understanding it. I was trying to see YouTube wasn't as big of a thing at that point as it is now. It was still a thing, but not, not, not to the extent it is today. You know, it specifically hit these things. Eventually I got past all the core basics of things. And I really started to dive into more of the, uh, cores of what I saw in the field. Automation is a prime example. You know, when I got really heavy into the commercial side of the industry, you run into automation everywhere. And I was really struggling with trying to understand how to work with it, how to troubleshoot around it. And that's a common thread that I think almost all uh, service techs eventually face if you're going to be in the commercial realm. I taught myself the majority of what I know about automation and I did that through uh, reading articles. Every time I'd find a component that I didn't understand, I would research it. I would study it. I'd pull whatever documentation I could find on it when it comes to actuators. And the very first automation system I learned was Metasys through Johnson and it just expanded from there. You know, I would pull manuals. I'd, I'd pull manuals on the controllers themselves and understand inputs, outputs, you know what that meant and that led me into studying block theory and how the the and ors function within a side of a logic chain those are the kinds of things that go miles and miles in helping develop those critical skills and and i've always talked about building niches having a niche in the trade having different niche items under your belt you can continue to take this further deep diving into the compressors or deep diving into txvs understanding them understanding all the components of them, you know, understanding how to use different types of meters. If there's different readings you don't know how to use, you don't know how to take. If you are talking to somebody and they start saying things, you don't understand what those words mean. How I've chose and how I focused on what I was going to study was what I was struggling with the most in the field. When I would go on service calls, the things that would take me the longest to figure out, those are the items I prioritize first. There's too many topics out there to just randomly say, okay, I'm just just going to start studying things. No, you really need to focus on what it is you struggle with the most that you see every single day. There's no point in you going out there and studying chillers if you're only seeing chillers once in a blue moon. You know, when, when you have these outside air systems that you're looking at or an RTU with an economizer set up that you can't even begin to explain how it functions, what all the different parameters are, why the parameters are what they are. If that's what you're working on the vast majority of the time, studying chillers is a complete waste of time for you because that's not what you see. And if you want to get to that point of being able to work on chillers and do that every single day, you've got to master this first because you've got to get through this phase of your career in order to get over here. But if you don't have the knowledge to in the first place, it doesn't matter how much hands-on you have, you're only going to go so far. So I'm right at 10 years in the trade now. My career started just like basically everybody else's. I started off, you know, as an apprentice. I hadn't even gone to school at that point, and I didn't go to school 
until my third year in. Once I actually started getting into commercial and getting a focus on what I wanted to do in my career with my life, I decided to actually get serious about what the heck I was doing and take things seriously. So I began the process of really doing a deep dive into understanding the trade. That's when I began school. It didn't take long for me to realize that I really needed to optimize how I was doing things because I was running into stuff. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what it was, much less what it did, how to try troubleshoot it. I didn't have a strong senior team. The couple of guys that were around really weren't interested in, in me and my development and what I was doing. They they just didn't really care. So I had to figure it out for myself. Appreciate it guys. I love you. MTT, make the time for your family, for your kids. Take care of yourselves.